It's been a long time in the running, but it's time that we finally in play it. Let's play Jazz Jack Rabbit. We got a superhero. He's a bunny. So like at this point, I'd say alongside with Sonic, this is probably the the starting point of a whole bunch of uh, anthropomorphic animal stuff. So hey. Epic Mega Game Presents! A game by Harsh and Brucey! Yeah, Jack Jazz Rabbit. But, but the Jazz Jack Rabbit CD! Jazz Jack Rabbit! <laughs> not yep. Jack Jack Rabbit! <laughs> and look at that! It's also festive! Because, Do not hey, Jack the Jazz Rabbit! Yep, I'm the Jazz Jack Rabbit! So, yeah, this has been like. Uh, I'd say the big point of comparison to this will probably be so. Uh, whoops. But yeah, I'd say it's probably Sonic, because at this point, like, uh, yeah, this is 100% uh, Sonic. Like, this is the Sonic CD bonus levels. Yeah, and this is indeed uh, one of the many bonuses that uh, we'll get to see, but yeah. We probably should just start the game. Maybe. We can be all sorts Turbo. of racing, or we can just be a BB. Now, I'll be normal. And yeah, I'd say there's a shitload of possible levels that you can play. It's like there are six episodes in the base game, and the CD version has even more levels to all of this. We're not gonna play this entire thing. Like I'm probably gonna play only two or three episodes. So yeah, what better place to start than the beginning? Turtle Terror. Yeah, now approaching uh, not hurt. But yeah, essentially the movement is kind of like Sonic, but I'd say. Oh, thank you, Bartman, for the. <laughs> thank you very much. But uh, yeah, you're a rabbit. You have a gun. Also, the screen is incredibly zoomed in, so it's kind of hard to have time to figure out what you're doing. So, even though your character can go really fast in this game, this is not a game where going fast is uh, typically fashionable, because otherwise, uh, you're gonna die. So, uh, no blast processing on the whatever this came out for. Ah, this is PC. We're definitely playing this. I, I remember playing this like on a good old uh, 386. I think it was more made for 486. But hey, if you lowered the detail enough, then uh, everything was all fine anyway. And yeah, right now we picked invincibility. But uh, it's not the kind of invincibility that kills the enemies. It this really is just to make you invincible. I don't think this can be Bubsy. I haven't seen any fall damage yet. I mean, it's. I'd say the comparison point to Bubsy is sort of accurate because Bubsy also was a game where you could go really really fast and the moment that you went really really fast you would fucking die so I'd say that's like the one thing that it's got in common. That's also Sonic if you suck at Sonic. Yeah but hey at least in this game you have a health bar so I'd say this does help out in the, the, the good old department. Also fuck these beats. I'd say the bees are not the, the big thing that I'm gonna fear throughout this uh, whole playthrough. Oh, Jazz only has 3 life, Bubsy is 9, Ergo Bubsy is better. Yeah, but Jazz not a, a fucking cat, so hey. And yeah, before you wonder, we cannot shoot uh, up, down or anything, it's only straight ahead. You're straight are you implying that rabbits have 3 lives? Yeah. I mean, you can't see it overtly, but uh, hey, if a rabbit dies and another rabbit uh, erupts from the womb, ready to rock. Also, I don't know what the fuck. I this don't. Is. Yeah, I don't. I don't think that's how the Cat Nine Lives thing works. <laughs> oh yeah. Also, I think it is... just gets cloned. Yep. <laughs> However, I'd say the sound effects in this game are maybe a little quiet. Like, hold on, can I truly increase the sound effect? Yeah, okay, alright. Uh, so this way we'll actually be able to hear what's going on. 
And yeah, of course, the music in this game is good old tracker music. Uh, back when this was, uh, you know, the big craze that kind of was. Uh, uh oh, rabbit stinks. But yeah, it's like uh, going from General Midi to this was definitely quite the shock back in the time because hey, you were no longer tied to having a specific sound card that was good at doing Midi. You could eh, well, have the game just sound well uh, no matter what the environment you were in. Yeah, also just like Sonic, we've got the big boots of speed. And of course, you're fucking in control of. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> ah! The health, health bar seems really useful when you're doing that. Yep, kind of is. Thankfully, uh, most of the time it's pretty easy to refill it, so I'd say it's not uh, too big of a factor. And yeah, of course, you have more than one weapon, but I'd say this level only gives you like two for the most part. Which is the shitty ass blaster and the not as bad uh, flamethrower, which is essentially just your blaster but stronger. Oh, and right here, this is the bonus stage uh, thing. Now we're gonna be able to experience blast processing on your PC. Yeah. It's like I'm playing on new technology. Yep. All right, collect all the 30 gems. Oh yeah, so, so you can just turn into a ball. And is it useful? Absolutely not, because typically this is what happens if you go in ball mode. You fucking die. So for some reason, there's these hands. What do you do? Eh, they just bounce you back. It's like, I don't know. I, I always thought it was quite silly, but... Uh, I guess That's because it is! Yep. I guess silly is the, the goal of the game. You have a lot of time for this bonus. Yep. There we go. And we got them all. That's, that sure is a face. Tube Electric. Yeah, Jazz came out in 1994. It's like, uh, that was when uh, PC games were starting to be uh, definitely a little bit more advanced. And then there was Robo. <laughs> I didn't check out when it was made. Maybe I should have done that. Because, uh, hey, Robo is the most advanced thing we'll ever play and that we'll ever see. That game apparently came out in 1989. No, it's early. A... The CD version is 95, though. I'm talking about Robo. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> not just Jackrabbit. <laughs> if this had come out in 1989, that would have been fantastic. Uh, I'd say it would have been a highly improbable. Oh, we're collecting Gravis game pads. Remember these. No. no, I don't. I don't remember those. I think I've seen them once in my life, and I own I own one of these. Like, uh, was the de facto uh, controller for PC gaming back uh, in the prehistoric era. Sounds about right. Because hey, the, the the controller had a bunch of buttons, but in the end, like there was only two of them that did something different. So therefore, uh, yeah, it was uh, a fucking great controller, and it was uh, as good as advertised. And then later on, they will even make a more advanced version of this, which was USB. It's like I think it was the first USB controller I ever owned. And this one actually had, uh, you know, uh, L and R buttons and all sort of things like that. I remember uh, using this to play Final Fantasy VII on the PC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And 
and also it was a pain in the ass to get running and most of the time it will not remember what uh, mode that it was in so yeah it was a uh, great times for whoever had a gravis gamepad Oh yeah, the original used like the like the, these serial parallel ports, like uh, not really 100% certain. Like uh, what was the name that uh, you will give like to the game port uh, switch? Like that was also where you will plug in midi uh, equipment if you had uh, any. Oh, we killed all the enemies. I, I want to say that's actually just literally a midi board, but. Yeah, look at this blast processing, it's so fast! Oh yeah, also these enemies, uh, suffice to say, they're not exactly the most dangerous thing in the world. Like, as long as you stare at them, they don't do anything. Yep, Merry Christmas! Gotta go fast! Thank you, Carbon94! <laughs> Thank you very much! Wait, Robo came out in 93? Are you fucking smoking crack? What the fuck? Oh, alright. Alright, shitload of invincibility. Also, fuck the tiny turtles. They do nothing. They're boring. Oh, fuck the tiny turtles. Yeah, it's like these enemies, most of the time they just coincidentally happen to block your path and maybe they'll be a threat or maybe they won't. It's just, eh. Woo! Uh, oh, great. <laughs> Ooh, this enemy is weak! Let me get hit by it! By the way, since I was curious, uh, is every planet a different episode, or is an episode a pack of uh, It's a pack of planets. Like, all of this is uh, part of episode one. Okay. I'd say every episode is three planets and a boss. Don't quote me on that. I think maybe some of them later change things up, but I've never played the entirety of this game. So, hey. Until today! <laughs> Alright, level clear. Alright, get 35 gems. Oh yeah, that's right, you can also jump. Not that it does much. And I think most of the time the jumping in this kind of just hinders. I don't know why you do this on the wheel, this looks okay. Like Unless you mean like the actual genre of music jazz is on the GBA. No, they mean they probably mean this game. But I like jazz too. Ha <laughs> oh, oh, all right. Yep, the Indiana Jones theme. That's the one. And yeah, don't touch the hexit signs because these are just going to uh, spontaneously combust your uh, bonus round into oblivion. So they basically work the same as in Sonic 1, essentially. Yep. He looks so sad. <laughs> no, he, he's, he's, he's hopped up so on sad. coke. Then he should look fucking more hyped up if he's on coke. Also, no, yeah, he looks like he's totally on made downers. In the US. Oh, yeah. There we go, medieval. I'd say about everybody who ended up playing this game, I'd say this is probably what they, they end up remembering from it. It's this planet. It's Holy awesome. shit, this music sounds familiar. Yep. This Where's is a very it? well known uh, song in uh, pretty much uh, all the big circle of life. It's not jazz, so I don't nah. know why it's called Jazz Jack Rabbit. Yeah, if anything, the, the soundtrack of this is like the complete opposite of jazz. It's anti-jazz. Anti-jazz! But 
sorry. I, I figure that the jazz music will not have fitted the, the world with the fucking uh, flying swords into your face. Hello, uh, get some, get oh, some oh, up bebop in oops. there? I don't know. Guess, uh, gonna guess we have to go down, 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 down. Yeah, like, if oh, anything, no, I'd say no. the soundtrack of the second game is actually a little bit more jazzy in comparison to this one. And I, and then again, I will also the debate that the second game of this is much better just because. Uh, it doesn't run in three, uh, 320 by 200, and therefore you can actually see shit in it. <laughs> you mean to tell me that you've got a bigger monitor than that? Yeah. <laughs> what the hell do you need that many pixels for? I mean, maybe you don't need that many pixels in 1994, but uh, hey, 1998, uh, yeah, give me all the resolution, baby. Oh, yeah, that's right. Now it's time for the hoverboard. <laughs> and also, I think they kind of underestimate the player for a big chunks of this because that's way too many carrots everywhere. <laughs> I actually wonder if the higher difficulties reduces the number of these items. Yeah, I'm not sure. Oh, that's fine. Probably should use that weapon. I mean, we've got 400 of them, so... Yeah. Is that supposed to be a pop launcher or something? Yeah, essentially. It's the bouncy gun. The bouncy gun. I mean, it's useful whenever shit is below you. Or above you. Or somewhere. Or sideways of you. Oh, harder difficulties reduce your health. Is that all they do? I'm gonna guess so. Yeah. Alright, whatever. I saw there was something up there, but eh, let's just bail. Alright, get ready. Get ready. Yeah, get ready. For what? I mean, for more castles. I mean, uh, it's a pretty, uh, it's a pretty uh, oblivious place to be. Uh, or is that the proper term? I don't know. No. Uh... <laughs> Wait. Okay. All right. Ob uh... Obliv oblivious is what you were when you said that. <laughs> Whatever, we're gonna find yeah, all Yeah, bit rate! Let's go! Yep, we're gonna find all the holy grails. Every single one of them. Except for the ones up there. Uh, oh, hello. Oh, oh. Secret? Yeah, yeah, oh. This game has secret. Well, thank God! We were running out of those! Yeah. <laughs> When I wasn't settled into the, the first level of this world, I was having some difficulties uh, health-wise, but I'd say right now it's kind of not a problem. <laughs> oh, alright, whatever. Oh, okay. We're invincible. It's nice to put a spring at the end there. Yeah, Instead of just wrecking your shit. <laughs> ah! <laughs> this is going great. Shoot all the pebbles. Yeah, I mean, why not? Uh, if you can shoot it, it will sh it will be shot. Wise words. And now it's time to fight our big, uh, our big bad in the game. I think Dr. Devan something. He's a big turtle. He's a jerk. And yeah, these uh, speed up the speed of your projectiles.
Oh uh, yeah, he kind of he's uh, yeah he's not Robotnik. Like that's totally uh, what the, the big takeaway of this uh, of this guy. Yep. And just like not Robotnik, he also dies really easy. <gasps> That's what separates him from Robotnik, the hardest boss in video games. Yep. Oh. Copyrighted by Nick. Uh, okay. Anything else you want to share with the class game? I guess not. Alright, right now the idiotly dorky Devan Shell is constructing twin mega battleship to blow up Jazz on planet. Carol. Oh no. Evo here along the way. It's. Caritas? Let's not keep her winning. Yep, there we go. And that's it for episode one. So I'd say, hey, huh, let's just play a little bit more. I mean, it kind of went uh, rather fast. So now it's time for Ballistic Boy. I'm guessing that would have been where the share were stopped, right? Yeah, the first episode was all that you got. And if you uh, bought the rest of the game, then hey, you had a whole bunch of other episodes. And already, like, the, the enemies that you get into this one episode are way worse. It's like, I hate these freaking chips with a passion. Hey, this isn't chip challenge. No, we played chip challenge like two days ago. It was called Robo. Yeah. Hey, chip. Okay, I really need to check that VOD. No, you don't. You, you don't. <laughs> here, here, I'll give you the VOD. Hey, Bolt. Hey, Kate. There, you got the VOD. <laughs> you got the VOD. Yeah, I mean, he's not far off. That's, that's all. Okay, then. It's just some dude saying really boring, like, Hey, Bolt. Or Robo. Uh, oh, oh my, okay. He looks swanky in that uh, x ray. That really x ray, though. I mean, that's something. Like, I don't know what it is, but it's gonna be something. It's something! <laughs> that narrows it down. It's a oh, thing, right. it exists. A thing. Right, we're invincible, and we go with the speed of light. Fuck the, fuck the fuck. Oh yeah, that's fuck right. Fuck the fuck. Now we got a bird, big bird of paradise. Also, can I do anything with these computers? But yeah, essentially he's our shoot buddy, and if we get hit while we have him, he actually shields us from the hit. But then you lose it. Uh, ah, yep, there we go. Bye, bird. <laughs> Poor old guy. <laughs> ah, okay, so now these computers I can blow them out with. I can't say I've ever been a big, a big fan of this world or episode because later on I'm gonna have a very good reason as to why I don't like episode 2 and people who have uh, played this game or bought or interacted with the jazz CD version of this game probably know uh, the, the big thing, like the big secret that's... Uh, the big scam. I mean, it kind of is a big scam because... Uh, it's like, uh, if you had an unpatched version of uh, the Sega, uh, of the Sega, of the, the, Sega. <laughs> of the CD version of this game, uh, one of the worlds in this episode is impossible because the the physics of the game were just broken and therefore didn't work. Oh, great. Good. Yeah, it's like, this is why typically uh, whenever people That's would be That's jazz, like, baby! Yeah, this is why typically whenever people will be like, Oh, I like this game, it's a good game. And I'll be like, uh, yeah, but this game I kind of was un unbeatable. 
Uh, oh, fuck. And we... <laughs> I, I have never heard anyone say that they like Jazz Jackrabbit. I mean, some people like this game, like... Personally, I'd say that the, the second game made it so that this game is kind of unneeded, but hey... Oh, yay! More fire! Uh, ow! And more pain! God, them little chips are kind of annoying, yeah. Yeah, this is why I fucking hate this world! <laughs> like, the little chips, uh, they're the worst. Psychedelic sad boss says, I hate this fucking world. <laughs> I mean, I kinda <laughs> do. <laughs> We've already done the Jizz Jackrabbit show first. How many more do we need to do? All of them. Oh, also a good job. The enemies are just going through the walls. <laughs> that well, seems like a decent strategy. For the enemies, I mean, not for you. Uh-oh, oh. rapid fire, rapid, rapid fire. fire. Ah, fuck. Do I still have uh, any ammo? Nope, I have nothing. I'm naked. All that I got is my fucking rabbit butt. Mm. Ah, no! <laughs> no, no! <laughs> It's like, uh, starting womp, womp. from episode 2, you can definitely see, uh, the game gets, uh, gets harder. Like, uh, not impossibly hard or anything, but, uh, hard enough so that I actually have to pay attention to what I'm doing for a change. Uh, ah, I don't want to be back up there! <laughs> <laughs> Too bad. Too bad! Yeah. Dommage! Ah, oh, fuck! <laughs> Dommage! Also, no, I never stream uh, just too. <laughs> <laughs> you never stream. <laughs> Toasty, like, uh, like fun on a bun. Fun on a bun. Yeah. My favorite item from the Hooters menu. <laughs> what? What? Hey there, do you want to see my buns? I mean, I don't know. <laughs> like, what else will it fucking be? I don't know. I Rabbit fire. Rabbit, rabbit fire. Yeah, I mean, I know it says rapid fire, but I personally like. Uh, no, that said rabbit, rabbit fire. You, no, you're you are correct. That definitely said rabbit fire. Like if only you could. Ah, uh, oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> if only the fuck. Yep, I missed out on the bonus. There we go. At least, thank goodness, every planet is only two levels. Oh, Technoir. Oh, yeah. uh, ah, crap. What? Looks what like did I, that hit you? Uh, because I tried moving while I crouch, and uh, oh. by doing this, I was no longer crouching. Rip. Moral of the story, never move. <laughs> yeah, while this song is no, uh, is no medieval, I still like this one, however. Even though it's really cheesy. It's like, we need uh, all of these voice clips. Jazz trap rap. A rabbit. Uh, oh, okay. uh, oh my god. Ah. 
Like, uh, I don't know how you will beat this game, like, without a health bar. Like, uh, this is a game where you just are going to get hit all of the time, whether you want it or not. Ow. Whoops. Slow and steady wins the race. I don't follow instruction. Oh, yeah, that's right. Also, this is the level that comes with time bomb, like the most convoluted weapon in the world. <gasps> ah, fuck! Oh, gee. Oh, you can shoot yourself. That's good. No, uh, I got shot by a tank. That was oh, okay. like, I you shot yourself off there. screen. No! What the oh, fuck? Okay. That time you just jumped on the tank. Yeah, because I sure didn't know he was there. Oh, also I just noticed that the ending was uh, right next to where the level actually starts. Smooth yeah. moves. Curious. Alright. Let's collect all of our... Uh, oops. <laughs> <laughs> Let's collect our springs. Oh, yeah, there was another tank here. Thank you, Ice Chloe, sleep for the sub. Thank you very much. Amber Bush Group. I sound really good. I'm somehow uh, wa walking against the conveyor belt without moving my feet. Oh, so there's more enemies on the harder difficulties. Oh boy. So all in all, this must be a who? Who turns? What? I don't know. I made that joke like five minutes ago. Yeah, that's why I'm what doing do you it mean? again. What? Because, because why the fuck not? That's the callback we needed. Yeah. The, the Great callback. message. Who turns? Can I look down? Okay, I can look down at the very least. This uh, screen brought to you by Hooters. Hooters. The fresh maker. The fret the fresh maker, yeah. <laughs> right. I don't does Hooters have an actual I know in the nineties they had a slogan, but I don't know if they still do. It is le tits. Yeah, there we go. It that's, is le tits. Yeah, that's the slogan now. That's the slogan. It's better than the one they had in the 90s. Okay. It used to be delightfully tacky yet unrefined or something like that. That fucking sucks. Like, Which was not that? a good, it wasn't a good slogan. It wasn't. Hey, yeah, Hooters hey, Quebec is le tits. Nah, I don't think Hooters e e exist there. If anything, we've got our yeah, own ho -ho titty bars. Yeah. No, we've got our own titty bars to be ashamed of. It's like, titty bar is a different thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> titty bar refers to a, very, uh, to a different thing. <laughs> I mean, I thought that was a titty bar. <laughs> no, a strip club is a titty bar. <laughs> No, but I mean like a place where you eat Hooters shit is, Hooters is, and then Hooters is a restaurant. Thank you. <laughs> yep, that's gonna be the subject of discussion for this stream. That's right. Well, okay, what, 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 here, I'll give commentary on the game. Oh, we're jumping again. Yep. <laughs> oh, we're sure jumping again. <laughs> it's your commentary on Jazz Jack. Oh, we're shooting a bullet. Oh, we're jumping again. <laughs> We're jumping again, all the way to the water. Gnosis, you're thinking of an astropod. Uh, ah, frick! Uh, <laughs> Hooters makes you happy is the current slogan. I okay. What? That that's a no. <laughs> all right. 
it. I gotta use the bomb at the time where it matters. I've never been in a good mood and been. So I probably should have remapped my controls before I started this because I'd say the default controls of this are rather tacky. It's control in order to switch weapon, alt in order to fire, and then I uh, know it's f f no alt in order to jump, and finally space bar in order to shoot. Yes, that's also true, I've never been in a good mood in general, but specifically when I've gone to a Hooters, it's not because I've been like, Hell yeah, I'm having a great day! It it's because, off, it's because I've been in like in Indianapolis, me. Indiana, and it's the only fucking bar available to go to. Like, that, that was shit enemy placement here, like, what the fuck? It looked pretty epic to me! Yep. <laughs> Bomb. <laughs> we're not going there again! <laughs> well, we're already here, Psych! A bomb, a battery, a bolt. I am the- I am the one jerk who will actually- I actually like Hooter's wings, though. I, I like Looter's wings because it's like It's like the one guy who actually reads Playboy for the- it's like the one guy who actually reads Playboy for the articles, I know, but I actually like the wings. They're overly breaded, I wouldn't have them too often. That would make sense if they're firing carrots. Wait, fire and carrots? Firing carrots. Okay, now where the fuck am I? Wait, I'm I'm back to where I started. Like I literally did nothing. Jazz Jackrabbit. Yum. Okay, I need to go up. Like apparently up there. Darkness, I'll have you know. That when I lived in Tampa, which is, uh, oh, by the way, fuck. America's strip club <laughs> capital. When I lived in Tampa, my friend would repeatedly invite me to go to the strip club because they had a roast beef dinner. <laughs> At like 3 p.m. on Wednesdays. What? And I never went, but I kind of wish I had. Because I want to see just how bad the strip club fucking fancy dinner is. Sorry, it wasn't roast beef, it was pot roast. That's what it was. It was pot roast dinner. The pot roast strip club. That sounds like a classy place. It's Tampa. Like, what do you want? There's nothing else to do there. Well, I am at the Tampa Bay. Nothing to do but tits. What do you mean, why 3 p.m.? Because that's the only way they were getting people to the club at 3 p.m. Uh, ah, fuck. I'm gonna manage to get the. Ah, oh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> the one carrot you wanted. Yep. At least we're out of this joint. So yeah, welcome to the world of your nightmares, Orbitus. Orbitus. Yeah, because again, if you played this on uh, on patch of uh, an on patch version of this game, uh, this world was impossible to beat because that's just good game design. Oh, speaking of why was it design, impossible to defeat? Because the physics of the game were fucked, and uh, that the okay. uh, conflicts uh, at some point uh, with uh, one of the many places you go to in this logo. Remember where it is? Yeah, and it's also the do 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 uh, logo. <laughs> I know, so. 
However, this level does have some uh, nice uh, little bits of fuckery you can do with the... Uh, uh, oh, okay. Sort of wall jump? Yeah, because, uh, again, these walls, they're really hard to understand at times. And these are the reason why, uh, at some moment in the level, you literally can progress. I guess they didn't work in the on uh, uh, They didn't work correctly, yeah. <laughs> ah. So, which is better, Jazz Jack Ribbit 1 or Mega Man X for DOS? I'd say this game. <laughs> I gotta get toasty. Like I'd say the saving grace of this level is that at the very least the enemies are very tame. Like uh, we don't have the freaking uh, chips or wait. Where where do I go now? Eh? I don't know. It's still broken somehow. There you go. What's better? Mega Man 3 oh, or Robo? Okay. Alright. <gasps> That was not the most obvious thing uh, I've seen in the world. Uh, oh, whoops. Uh, oh. I said I like that we don't even fucking react to uh, to anything right now. <gasps> What's there to say? I'm too busy being cool on my skateboard, yo. Like Jazz Jack Rabbit's a man of few words. I mean, the, his words are "yow," "watch it," and "yummy." But still better than Gex. I don't know. <laughs> oh no! With that said, however, this level does have a shit dick bag enemy. These little snakes. We didn't quite see them, but yeah, here we are. Ah, kind of fast. Yep. And they take a lot of hits, like, uh, hey, one hit for, uh, no, it's even more than one hit for each part, what the fuck? Yep, there we go. This is where we're gonna dump all of them at once. It's too bad, because the, uh, uh, alright, whatever. <laughs> ah, no! You can't say, oh, whatever, and then just let it hit you twice more. Uh, oh, no, speak. Hey! <laughs> Spikes, yeah! I mean, I like Jazz 2, but Jazz 1, uh, I'm not a fan. Like, uh, this is not the, the game that I've aged the best in the world, in my opinion. It's like the screen is too tiny, you can't really avoid a whole lot of the bullshit in the game, and uh, yeah, etc, etc, etc. And yeah, I know about uh, Jazz Jack Rabbit uh, 3, about how it started development and then uh, never came to fruition. And I don't know uh, whether it was for the better or the not. How many people are clamoring for this to have another sequel? I mean, there's some people, this game and, and series still has a fan base as of today. It does, but is it that big of a fan base? No, but hey. <laughs> All I remember seeing from Dead Jack Rabbit 3 is that it was supposed to be a 3D game. Yep. Oh boy. Just like Bubsy. <laughs> Yeah, but I still say uh, it could not have possibly been worse. I'm... well, I'm sure. It's hard to be worse than Bubsy 3D. Yeah. Oh, uh, hey! Oh my god, I fucking hate <laughs> this. Yeah, that's right. This game has save features. I probably should use saves. That was an interesting save there. I mean, what was I gonna call it? Uh, Dick Cum Rag? That, that is, is probably that what you would call it, yeah. That that's... You, you, Psychedelic Eyeball, would call it that. You are correct, <laughs> sir. Uh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I mean, I've you can't, always you had, can't make that joke. <laughs> I mean, I've always had very rigorous uh, naming uh, convention. What would I call this thing in hypothetical land? Dick ball commas? Yes. <laughs> Now, with the uh, Professor Highball. Okay, alright, we're back in the shit zone. I think unfortunately you're gonna have to take care of all of these. Yep. I just noticed now that there's hey, apparently a time limit. Then I hit you. Okay, this is where you got wrecked last time. Yep, but this time, last time I went too fast. Now I'm gonna kill this freaker. Oh yeah, I, I totally know about uh, the fact that they're gonna delist all of their uh, other games like uh, the Unreal series and everything. That's kind of one of the reasons I'm doing this as well. Just in order to show that... Uh, yeah. uh, WHAAA! Jazz Rabbit exists! These are like spikes. Yeah, they're like spikes. Okay, where the fuck do I go? What is this shit? Up Hillary. or uh, down. Well, this is great. But yeah, you uh, you don't enjoy the way the camera is panning uh, up and down. No, not way. really. Yeah. And by the way, do you know what you call it when the camera pans up and down like that? It pan endings. All right, same game. <laughs> that didn't even make sense. <laughs> Like, uh, like I need to make sense, baby. I think that's my cue to go now. So oh, you killed Pin Anning, wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, anyway. Pin Anning must leave this planet now after that. Later. <laughs> Alright, anyway, later. Later, Pin. Yeah. Ooh, you suck, McVeigh. <laughs> Bonus area. At this point, I'd say uh, yes to an extra life because I'm kind of going naked. Also, the most imaginative platform. Two diamonds. Mm. Yeah, but the problem is that I don't know. We can't really lump uh, Epic on uh, the same bandwagon as Activision because I, mean, I still think uh, they've got quite a ways to go in order to reach the same rank of utterly terrible. Rabbit, rabbit, fire. Rabbit, fire. Rabbit, fire. Fucking we, platform! You need those, so like, what's... That's the best kind of spring, is the one that springs you when you're not actually on top of it. But, yeah, if I remember, this is, uh, totally the, the shitball place. Like, what I just did here, if you didn't have the C... If you, uh... Didn't patch the game, uh, that was literally impossible to do. You will just bounce uh, all over the place like a madman, and uh, yeah, th this will not happen. <gasps> well, what? <laughs> What's that fucking platform? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Would like to jump! You can jump right now! What the hell? Alright, herb. What does the bird do? Uh, it shoots, and it also oh, it protects shoots. you from one hit. Hey, given the fact that I have zero lives, I'll take... Oh! Yay! Alright, there we go. Given the fact you have one lives... Ooh. 
They don't reference anything in Fortnite because there's fucking nothing to reference that anyone who plays Fortnite would get. <laughs> all right, level clear. Like you could make the greatest references of all time. The fucking twelve-year-olds aren't gonna know. Hey, this is just like that time when I was uh, eating carrots. Hey, Lewis, I ate a carrot and now I'm shitting your age. And think, God, Peter. Do you think the Family Guy characters are involved in Fortnite? Why not at this point? I mean, uh, didn't they have plans to do a Family Guy uh, expansion at one point? Like, I thought that was a thing. I don't know. <laughs> I don't remember hearing about that, but but I also don't know anything about Fortnite. Yeah, I just know that you build shit. You also shoot shit. Uh, except... Oh, <laughs> good job, Jess. <laughs> All right, two lives for the boy for the boss. Oh, they made a version of Fortnite that doesn't have forts. Did it usually have forts? <laughs> Alright, got her the end. Right. Uh, oh, great. Oh, okay. Oh. Okay, can I just stay here? Uh, okay, what are you doing, boss? Like, can I just stay here and uh, do shit? Like, I feel like the, the bird can just solo this whole boss fight. What are you doing? I mean, I'm just waiting for the boss to uh, get off his ostrich ass. What are you doing? Ah, oh, boy. I mean, he has uh, Bobsy's voice because uh, that was mandated by law to be uh, to be doing that. What are you doing? I I can barely tell what his voice is because it's so quiet. It's like, uh, I'd say in terms of boss encounters that I fought, uh, the sure is one. <laughs> this is why you're a professional streamer, it's like you got these kind of insights on the games you play. I mean, you don't really need to have particularly <laughs> deep insight on... I know, I'm not disagreeing with you, I'm just saying... <laughs> Have you all ever played a video game? I played a video game once, it was just Jackrabbit! Then you're done. Alright. Yep, there we go. The toughest boss battle in all of history. And over there, a whole bunch of other shit, I guess. What could possibly go wrong? Warning, a fight that probably could have been more interesting than what we've just seen. Oh, Devon is building a cloning machine! Oh, Jazz rocked the tree techno planet, now he must pursue Devon into an all-natural, fat-free, no-preservative area of the galaxy. What? Now, you see, that's the comedy. Oh, get ready to explore Nepius, John Rock, and the J Temple of the Turtle. Okay, butt butt. No. Butt ass. Yeah, now it's the sequel. So, yeah, I'm gonna play one last episode at this point. Hey, tis the season, so we might as well go and play that last episode all the way down here. Holiday hair. Because, hey, it's that time of the year, it's time to honor our greetings. Yeah. Holidayus! This is the planet where uh, uh, where Doctor Zeus comes from, and yeah, also this in this entire level you're cold. Yeah, that's the animation of being cold. Oh, I think 
goodness that I have time because hey, I would have ran out. This sure is some extreme Christmas. Yeah, because it's got the fucking heavy guitar, man. With the absolutely uh, non fitting uh, melodies on top. Just hear those motherfucking sleigh bells, Jacqueline! Oh, thank you, Carmen, for the for the bits. Thank you for the bits. Thank you for the hover the bubble the bubble. Like, if only the melodies were at least of the same sheets. Like, I don't know. I feel like the song was made in, a, in an hour. What makes you possibly think that? I'm sure it was. I'm sure that they were going to use just use the regular music, and then at the last second, someone was like, Oh, fuck, we should do some Christmas. Uh, uh, oops. Like, no, you can't do that. This is illegal. Like, this is not even remotely the same key or anything. Just like, I don't know, it would be like if I double death metal on top of a sh of a tiny flute. And the flute was only playing three bars of every Christmas song ever. Yep. <laughs> Merry Christmas, said the dog. E -I -E -I -O. What? I don't know, that's my... Is he Santa dog? <laughs> oh, oops. <laughs> I'm glad you died. Yep. <laughs> After Merry Christmas, oh, Santa. Time dog. for a death metal with a shitty flute. Oh boy. That make it happen. Oh my God. You're dead now, so you got plenty of time. Alright, hold on a second. Do I have a Yep, there we go. <laughs> Frosty the Death Man. I mean, I do with what my synth has as presets. Like, hey, if I don't have a death metal guitar, then I can't do a death metal guitar. Shield. Right by shield. Ah, right. oh, fuck. Right. It's time to shove our toaster into these dogs' asshole. So carrots being the normal health, and then candy canes being the health in this one, implies that he's just eating them like carrots. No, I mean, uh, carrots are still the health. The candy cane are just points. Oh, well, this this game sucks then. <laughs> <laughs> the rabbit doesn't eat candy canes! Five out of five. The rabbit's fucking firing a gun! We're not here for realism, I just want to... Christmas He's not even wearing a Santa not hat. Accurate. That's right. Oh, all right, there we go. It's time for the holiday bonus stage, which is just like every bonus stage. Like these, I'd say there's not as much things to do than uh, the Sonic CD one, but at the very least, they're less frustrating. You know, that's a chase uh, the that shit UFOs everywhere. At least it gives you something to do. I mean, I'm doing something here. I'm collecting blue diamonds. Oh. And 
you're running into walls. <laughs> there we go, one more minute. We're never gonna lose this bonus gig. Also, the Sonic CD ones were zoomed out a lot more than this. I mean, which I think worked in their favor a little bit. Oh, yeah, I'm missing one thing. Now, where the fuck is it? Not there. <laughs> I mean, you say less controllable, but do I look like I'm yeah, in control? Does this look right controllable? Now? <laughs> They're behind a wall and you'll never reach them. I think it's over there. There we go. Oh, there's more than 35. Yeah, you don't have to get I all of that, them. I thought you had to get all of them. Nope. Alright, all the in. Yeah, more of this. Christmas, motherfuckers. Uncle Diaper at a farm. What the fuck? What are these fucking shit ass monkeys now? What? What? What monkeys? I don't know. There was a brand new enemy, and I kind of missed it. I didn't see any. I didn't even see an enemy. Yep, here they are. Oh, there they are. They're just little snow monkeys. I don't know. Christmas! Christmas monkeys. Okay, as much as I was expecting them to be really annoying, somehow they seem way easier to deal with than the other bombs. They're not really moving much, yeah. Or maybe they're moving too much. Or, or maybe they're not. Yeah, oh no, what? this one hey, was what? not moving at all, and it caught me by surprise. See, I was wrecked all along, I told you. Uh oh. Caught you, well. <laughs> Merry Christmas, other lamb. E I E I O. Rain on me. What? I don't know. Uh, oh, fuck, I'm dead. <gasps> oh, no. Ah, crap. Merry Christmas will never get her lamb now. Uh, ah, fucking monkey! Yeah, the monkeys, they're easy to deal with. They would just, that one was just standing there and you ran into it. I'm not, I'm not hearing it from you. Uh, you, you fell for the camouflage somehow that went into the snow. from one melody to the other was so fucking shitty. Like, what the hell? <laughs> Alright, there we go. And it's the only track they have. Alright, holiday in level 3. And there we go, new music! Oh. And now we're fighting the devil. Because uh, Christmas. Remember the good old legend, uh, the devil Grinch that ended Christmas. Yeah, Santa kicked his ass. That's the whole point of the holiday. Yeah. Oh yeah, also this. Yeah. Yeah. What? 
the, f the fucking hand of fate. Mono. It's like these, however, are the fucking worst. Like, uh, I have no clue how they make this uh, level festive, uh, and I fucking hate them. Are you happy now? Now we got the worst version ever of Silent Night. <laughs> Fuck! Fuck, 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 fuck. Like, at fuck. least Satan is predictable. Fuck in heaven! Oh. <laughs> fuck the heavens, oh yeah. yeah. That's what I was saying. I mean, close enough. Uh, where can I find some goddamn carrots in this uh, hell shit? Remember when you were complaining there were too many? Yeah, in episode that was funny. one. <laughs> oh god, no! <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, that's. Alright, and we lost everything. We're back to the shitty ass blaster. Like, again, why is Satan so easy to kill? But those hands are the fucking shit hell of fucking... Oh, there were carrots here, but... Oh, I don't fucking know how to get them, so hey, it's a moot point. You don't need them now. You'll need them now. Now you need them. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, again, a game where you can go really fast, but with level design like this, that force you to grind to a complete halt all the time. All is calm, all is bright. Oh, there were carrots there. Carrots. You mean the other holiday hair. More like. Ca carrots. Uh, oh. <laughs> what a great hidden passageway. Yeah, it was useful. Ah, uh, oh, fucking and the fuck. <gasps> Ah, Alright, there we go. We're invincible and I missed all the shit. Huh? Ba -da -ba -da. Ah, ba -da -ba -da. I dance to the Buddha. I love to go slow because of these fucking ends. Holy shit, ball! Oh fuck, there was ants. <laughs> oh, hey, I'm shocked. Me to heat me, oh, 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 oh. Thank you, Santa. Say you're the welcome. Uh, Don't do that. Uh, uh, Is that an extra life up there? No, uh, it was an error. It's just progress. Progress. I yes. hate progress. Oh, thank Yum. God. <gasps> Yum. Full heal. Yum. I'll take it all. How about we avoid this one platform? It's a uh, Honil T is all the shit in the world. Ah, oh, thank God! Oh, 69%! Yeah! 
You killed so few enemies. And there we go, that's the end. That was it, okay. A brief stop over to Holidius was a success. I mean, was it really a success? No! <laughs> yep, there's no boss. Just grab tons of holiday goodies and tell Devon's naughty goons to be nice. You literally just grabbed a bunch of candy canes. Oh yeah, now the synth is dying. There we go. Oh, oh, it's Santa Claus. And Santa, whoever you are. Be sure to read order info to find more about your destiny. I mean, I'm already playing it. Why will I need order info for the program that I already own? Oh, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I sadly could not beat my other score. There we go, the creators of jazz. Thank you for playing. Oh, Tim Sweeney and Mark Rain, the cheerleaders. Yeah, but, I mean, yeah, we were praising the soundtrack, but that doesn't mean it's good the whole way. Also, oh my god, this is fucking highway robbery. 25 bucks for a Gravis gamepad. <laughs> and yeah, call us today in order to order the Jazz Mega Pack. What, like, what's the Jazz t-shirt look like? I mean... Uh, Why would you just order a t-shirt without being able to see it? I mean, that, that was another time. The happier, simpler time of 1994. In 1994, they had catalogs and shit where you could see the things you were buying. Oh, you have the, <laughs> you have the jazz t-shirt, Bartman. And what's it look like, Bartman? Yeah, I wonder, if I send the Epic uh, 12 bucks, are they going to send me a jazz t-shirt? 